Hello, hello dears, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Benidorm by Anna where we share with you a lot of interesting and useful information about Benidorm town and Spain in general. Today it's cloudy here in Benidorm but really really nice to be outside and it's time as every Monday and Friday for the latest news update from Spain and Benidorm town. Today we have a lot to talk about. First of all, let's talk about the situation here in Benidorm. As you know already, yesterday I was filming for you the video that you've seen basically with a difference of one hour, where we showed you uh, how Benidorm is looking like on the 1st of September. We went through the Mediterranean Avenue, the most touristic places, ending up on the Levante Beach to show you if there is a big difference with the tourism, um, if there's way less people right now, what is going on and what you might expect if you will be coming to Benidorm town um, in the next upcoming weeks of September and a lot of you did mention actually that uh, you have a strange feeling when you come to Benidorm in September that uh, it's kind of really nice and warm but it feels like a low season already uh, it is kind of the case because there's way less people with children especially there are more adults couples solo travelers in here just because all people with school age children are preparing for a school year right now or have already started it if you're coming from some countries from the abroad uh, however uh, it's still quite busy you've seen probably the beach if you did not see yesterday's video check it out uh, the beach was really really busy yesterday on midday which was nice to see uh, about the hotels hotels are still quite busy they are starting to lower the prices a little bit because it's not a peak type of a season any longer so you might get slightly better deals right now at the hotels especially last minute offers you know and um, in general September is slightly cheaper month than August was and October uh, October November is already one of the lowest prices in here which is just great to save up some money and spend it on something else nice and fun to do here in the zone uh, in general there are still some uh, strikes here in Spain of uh, the company Iberia Express which is the one that basically goes here inside of Spain uh, they still did not finish them because they um, did not get any valid uh, response from the company uh, asking what they wanted to have so they're still on strike however it's not affecting uh, tourists that are coming from abroad which is great news um, apart from that uh, easyjet have finished already their official strike the easyjet pilot strike so there are no changes any longer with barcelona mallorca and a lot of other areas they're not affected anymore so if you're traveling there for example um your flights should be all good also queues are decreasing at the airports which uh, means basically that it's gonna be way quieter there's not gonna be so so many desesperating queues you know to pass through the luggage check or to pick up your luggage for example or boarding uh, once you will be at the airport which is also really really good so everything is getting slightly downwards you know right now it's just the perfect time as i already say september october is just the perfect time to come here to spain because it's slightly less expensive um, in terms of accommodation it's not as hot excessively hot as it was during this massive heat wave in summer um slightly less people not so many queues at the airports you know it's just pleasant traveling the next news that I wanted to share with you all is what is happening in Benidorm? What are the massive secret projects that Benidorm is doing? Benidorm in general is looking um, as towards the mirror to Miami. Miami is on the other side of the ocean, as they say, uh, and it's a similar town to Benidorm in terms of skyscrapers. It's similar, uh, slightly similar with the climate, you know, um, and of the model of traveling, which is why they look at Miami as a mirrored image to what they want to become someday and uh, the municipal hall has revealed the project that they have the massive project for 2023 and 24 for Benidorm and number one part of it is to restore and refurbish all and every single of the hotels in Benidorm which is amazing I know that during the last two years of pandemics um, 15 20 more or less between 15 and 20 hotels 
have refurbished almost fully or at least partially their installations, their common areas, and some of them even the whole entire hotel from scratch uh, to, be offer, uh, to be offering quality tourism for uh, their guests because this is what people are seeking right now here in Benito. And even more, those hotels which are uh, newly built hotels, like for example, uh, the uh, Gold Arcos, you know, they've uh, took all the building away, the old building, and they almost built from scratch everything. And a lot of the hotels like this, what they need to check is the quality of their installations, the quality of the hotel itself, because this is something necessary to be able to obtain the license to build something or to reform something here in Benidorm. And as you could have seen during this year, we did some tours in the hotels, newly refurbished ones as well. We still have some pending to do during this autumn, so don't worry about it. Some more hotel tours will be coming out shortly. Uh, and uh, all these hotels, they are just amazing. They offer comfortable beds, they offer great exclusive service. You know, the inside areas are so nice, so relaxing. They offer so, so much. Obviously, the price is slightly higher, but um, it's just worth it to have a nice, relaxing, positive holiday. Uh, sometimes it's worth paying slightly more than that. So 2023 and 24 will be the years when even more hotels here in the area will be refurbished, which is just great. Um, another thing are the apartments and apart hotels and Airbnbs. These ones are not affected by plan, obviously, because these are small owners uh, a lot of the time. So obviously um, they won't need to refurbish. Uh, these offers will still be there. So people who are seeking for Airbnbs and for a cheaper holiday will be able to go to apartments, will be able to rent them. However, all the hotels will be on slightly higher level than they are right now now so that um as the municipal hall is planning i think which is what i thought for a long time they are willing to attract um slightly higher um level of tourism they want to attract tourism that would spend basically more money in Benidorm, um and by offering higher prices in the hotels basically this is what they try to achieve in here let's see how this will change Benidorm's dynamic uh, and if it will change it at all. Let me know what you think here down in the comments. The last news coming is from the lovely hotel Selomar, which is the one at the end of the Levante Beach, uh, the hotel that's been uh, shut down for a really, really long time. Then uh, one of the companies undertook it. They had issues with the licenses. And right now, uh, finally, they have um, have all the licenses, they have all the permits, they are on halfway more or less to finish the hotel. And it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a part of officially Group Barcelo here in Spain, um, which is just great. So it's gonna be available on their official website um, once everything is done and all the contracts are signed. Uh, and I'm gonna put you some pictures of how the hotel was looking like uh, and what it will be in the future if I'll find these. Um, some time ago, they posted on how this hotel will be looking like and it's just amazing on the first line of the Levante Beach right at the beginning of the old town it's gonna be another gorgeous hotel without a doubt um, so everything is changing Benidorm skyline is changing Benidorm hotels are changing uh, a lot of changes for this beautiful town but without a doubt everything is done to make this town better more comfortable um, quality wise as well for tourists so that more and more people would visit our town and get out slightly from this um, you know negative side of Benidorm that a lot of people think when they hear we're going to Benidorm on holidays which I think is also nice however in general, I do personally think that there is still going to be tourism for everyone in here. It's not going to be a huge, massive change. There's still going to be Benidorm night bars, you know, there's still going to be cheaper accommodation options for those who don't need a hotel, those who prefer to come to an apartment or Airbnb. Why not? I still think there's going to be an offer for everyone in here and Benidorm will not change as much as um, Municipal Hall thinks it will. Now let's talk about the weather. What is waiting for all those of you who'll be coming to Benidorm during these upcoming weeks? Some people were asking me how it's going to be in October as well. In October, there might be some rainy days, however, not as much. Um, and the weather is still warm. It's still 20 something degrees. Um, perfect weather, sunny, sometimes a little bit of clouds, but 
uh, not a bad time for tourism. As I've said, September, October are the best months to go in um, uh, autumn, winter period here to the zone. And the and the lovely weather right now as you can see it's quite cloudy in here um, but it's just really really nice there are a lot of people here on the outside doing some sports walking you know and some people already on the first line of the beach um sun tanning which i'm not sure why because there is a lot of cloud there are a lot of clouds but ah, i mean why not right just enjoy the sound of the lovely mediterranean sea there are some clouds on the north parts and here as well uh, by the way the whole upcoming week for the next seven days at least there's going to be slightly cloudy here on the zone partially cloudy then the sun will come out then there's going to be clouds once again but nothing too serious and like this is going to be for the whole entire week uh, the temperatures will be more or less similar to what we used to have, around 30 degrees here. In Alicante, it's going to be around 35, slightly warmer than here because it's going to be sunny. Barcelona, 29. Granada, 32. Malaga, 35. Sevilla, 33. Madrid, 31. Murcia, 37. Balearic Islands, 31. Canary Islands, between 25 and 8, 28. Valencia, 34. And the water temperature today will be around 27.5 degrees, which started to decrease a little bit. But I mean, it's OK. It's what is expected to happen in September. It's still really, really nice and warm. And these kind of temperatures will be here throughout the whole entire week without no major changes. This was the latest news update from Spain and Benidorm town. I wish you a lovely beginning of a weekend and we'll see each other on Sunday with a new video here on the channel. Bye everyone.